In this video, I've prepared the must-have new Fallout 4 mods for the end of November 2023 that you shouldn't miss. From the latest rifles to outfits, animations, and immersive gameplay modifications, there's a diverse range to look forward to. So, without further ado, let's get started right away. First, I've scoured through recently uploaded rifle mods and found a few noteworthy ones that I'd like to introduce. Firstly, we have the Modern Warfare 2023 CAT AMR Sniper Rifle. This bolt-action sniper rifle, utilizing 50 cal ammo, is introduced to the Commonwealth. It offers a variety of customization options, including advanced scopes, barrels, pistol grips, bipods, laser sights, and more. Notably, the scope supports fake-through scopes and covers side aim, adding to its allure. When fired, it delivers a distinct anti-tank sniper rifle feel. The reloading motion is of high quality, supporting tactical reloads. With the option to choose tactical sprint in the customization, it accommodates most cutting-edge mods, and its outstanding performance positions it as a strong contender for the top five sniper rifles of the year. I highly recommend it to our viewers as one of the top rifles to try out. Next up is the Modern Warfare 2019 CX-9. This SMP adds the blowback-operated CX-9 to Fallout 4. With excellent maneuverability and rapid firing capabilities, this weapon excels in close quarters combat. It features customization options such as a drum magazine, foregrip, laser sight, and stock modifications. The performance is commendable, supporting tactical reloads. If you're a Modern Warfare enthusiast, I recommend giving this weapon a try. Next, we have the MP443 Grach. This mod adds the famous Russian pistol MP443 Grach to the game. It comes in black and FDE colors, and through the mount modification, you can add a mount to the pistol for additional attachments. With this modification, you can attach optics and a bottom tactical light. The mod provides high quality animations and sounds, utilizes vanilla ammunition, and supports tactical reloads. You can find it in the level list script and it's craftable at the chemistry station. Be sure to check it out. Next up is the PBW, the Chinese Assault Rifle mod. This mod brings the iconic Chinese Assault Rifle from Fallout 3 to Fallout 4. Chinese Assault Rifle has been reconstructed with high-resolution new meshes and textures. You can customize the firearm in various ways, and its appearance changes with each modification. It becomes available from level 12 and can be obtained from raiders, gunners, minutemen, traders, legendary monsters, and more. If you enjoyed playing Fallout 3, this rifle is sure to capture your interest. In this segment, I've compiled some gameplay-related mods that you might find interesting. There are a few mods I'd like to highlight. Firstly, Shelter or Save allows you to save your game in Pulowski Preservation Shelters. This mod ingeniously repurposes shelters that many players usually pass by without much thought, turning them into save points. Using the Robco Patcher tool to generate ESP files ensures high compatibility with other mods. Next up is the Low Profile Loader Reloading Technique. This mod slightly slows down the player's movement speed while reloading. This feature enhances immersion by addressing the unrealistic aspect in the vanilla game, where characters can move extremely fast while reloading. Introducing a more realistic reload speed through this mod adds a touch of immersion, making the reloading process feel more immersive and engaging. In this segment, I've gathered a few armor or outfit mods that you might find interesting. There are a couple of mods I'd like to highlight. First up is the Garmin Fortrex 901. This mod introduces a tablet-shaped watch known as Garmin Fortrex 901. The watch displays various information such as world time, current ammunition, detection status, injury status, and more. It provides a diverse range of real-time information in the first-person perspective. You can craft it at the chemistry station. Additionally, when used in conjunction with the Casio W59 mod, you can enjoy an animation that allows you to view the watch up close, making it worth considering. Next up is the Modern Warfare 2 Lala Croft outfit. It adds a remarkably casual, yet exploration-friendly ensemble to the Commonwealth. The top, bottoms, and the backpack on the back will pique players' interest in survival. The thigh belt adds even more charm to this outfit. Although it lacks body slides for now, I highly recommend it to you due to its appealing design. Next. 
We have the Canvas Backpacks mod. It introduces a new backpack with 12 alternative craftable colors and faction options. The backpack can be crafted at the Chemistry Workbench and modified at the Armor Workbench. Additionally, it can be initially found near Ranger Cabin close to Vault 111. Wearing it provides an additional 50 carry weight. It's quite lore-friendly and boasts a fantastic design. Enhance your character's look with Canvas Backpacks. Next up is the Russian Ratnik Pack mod. This mod adds high-quality modern Russian military gear for both male and female CBBE characters. All items come with various color combinations and visual variations. Additionally, you can attach patches for different AFRF units. It offers a highly military-themed outfit that adds a significant touch to the atmosphere, and you can find all the items at Chemlab in the Ratnik Pack. Explore the Commonwealth in style with this fantastic mod that seamlessly blends with the Fallout 4 ambiance. In this segment, I've gathered a few animations that you might find interesting. Let me briefly introduce some of the mods I'd like to showcase. First up is the Gauss Rifle Animations, add-on. This mod enables ex cadavers Gauss Rifle Animations to function in the third-person perspective. It complements the previously introduced Gauss Rifle Animations and enhances the overall experience when used together. Additionally, there's the Another Deliverer Reanimation add-on. I recommend installing this one as well to incorporate the Another Deliverer animations into the third-person perspective. Give them a try together for an enhanced animation experience. And there's also the 10mm reanimation add-on mod available. This add-on ensures that the previously created and uploaded 10mm pistol reanimation by Ronald now applies to the third-person perspective as well. This is particularly noteworthy for players who primarily play in third person, bringing some exciting news to those players. In this segment, I'd like to introduce several visual mods that you might find appealing. Firstly, there's the Oppressor's Workbench Replacer. This mod transforms the original workbench into a new 3D model with 4K textures. Enhance the Commonwealth with this stylish workbench replacer. Next up is the Oppressor's Stainless Steel Coffee Cup Replacer. This mod fundamentally upgrades the model and texture of the default in-game coffee cup to a new, high-resolution version. You can enjoy coffee cups with various logos remodeled in 2K or 4K resolution. There's even a coffee cup featuring my channel logo, so feel free to give it a try if you like it. Thank you for joining us in the last week of November 2023 for our must-have new Fallout 4 mods video. If you enjoyed exploring the latest and greatest mods, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more exciting content. Until next time, happy modding Wastelanders!